And that's always a lot lighter and a lot easier to pull in when you've got a fish. It's very, very hard and heavy when there's nothing. <laughs> it's not really hard, but sometimes it's... Depends on the size like, of the tide. Yeah. When the sun's shining, things always seem a lot nicer. Yes, we've been salmon fishing together, you know, 32 or 3 years. And she still pulls the net in there like she did when she was, when she was only 60. <laughs> you must be joking. It's a two mile walk, a mile out roughly and a mile back. Don't forget we're old, old. Old age pensioners. <laughs> oh, better take changing room could you have than this. I can get the old bird dressed here. This is why it, it's a family job, pulling their trousers up. I'm 77 <laughs> and everybody says why we're so fit, we eat so much fish. I'm 84 nearly now and a lot of people 84 are thinking about it's not, not pulling nets and rowing boats. <laughs> We've got Conniger, Pillsmouth, Deadman. The salmon will be holding in the, in the deep water, you know, maybe another week or two. So I'm hoping now for the fish that is going through, find they can't get out, and they'll come back down through on this draft. So that's why I choose this today. I may be unlucky. I may have done better up there. The net is secured on the beach. With a with crew member, hey, which in we'll my case is Sheila. Okay, now, if, she's, on, if she's doing her job properly. Well, steady, dear, not too quick. Which she does most not of the quick. time. I was fishing Conniger many years ago, and the wind was blowing me towards the rocks. I was stuck fast, and in the minute and you're stuck fast, the bottom of the boat goes down, and the water comes in over and, and, and sinks you, you see. I never had a knife to cut the net adrift. So all I had to do was just get an armful of that and throw it all out in a great heap and then make a bolt for the shore as fast as I could and leave it there until the tide come in. <laughs> the funny thing about it, people would have said, of course, Steve Taylor, he got drone shooting Conagher and he's done it a million times, whatever was he thinking about? But it was so simple. Just a split second and the wind, gone. The net itself is the same net. The idea is to, to form a circle from the shore and come back into the same shore again and then you both walk into the centre and you start pulling again, head, core and a foot rope until it gradually gets smaller and smaller and smaller until if there's anything in the net, it's there. What do you think, Taylor? <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> oh, thanks. Looks like a lovely mullet. No, it's a flat fish. Oh, it's a flat fish. Back for another day. I'm going to put all this back in again now. They can never understand in the village of Bronton why a farmer never makes any money and the salmon fishermen never catch any salmon. Uh, years ago I caught 300. But that's the many, many tides ago that was. And in those days, my uncle and I fished in a, in a, in a boat. We never had enough money to buy a pair of chest waders. So he always fished in his mother's skirt. He wore his skirt and bare feet when it was frosty. Because fishing used to start the 1st of April 1st of April then, you see. Yeah. Only, only eight weeks now. Or just June and July. And, and they've taken away the best months from us, you see. But there were 36 netsmen catching salmon on this river. But now there's only three licenses left, and we're the last three remaining. That's myself and my son. And the other one was a Mr. Cox in Appledore. 
If all three of us went on a bus trip and we were killed, there'd be no more netting in the towing towers ever again. But last year they made an amendment that meant there'd always be one net on this river when we all die. I refuse the money just to have this way of life. See the mullets everywhere. I know. Just imagine that was fish. We won't be having salmon for supper tonight. <laughs> There's some in here. Here's, here's the salmon. Keep them coming. Here he is. Oh, lovely salmon. There's a lovely salmon. I'm Look at that. that. Hold on, dear. dear. He be gone. Ah, you've got a smile out of me. <laughs> nice heavy fish. But when I leave this world, I'm going to be placed to rest at Henton Church, <laughs> right in the sun, with a good view of the estuary. Well, then I, I can watch who's catching the fish. I can talk to the salmon and tell them to go around the net, if it's opposition. Come on, Stephen. All right, dear, I'm coming. We didn't know he was there till we got in. Oh, you were asleep. Far too good for the working class. <laughs> the handwork, which is a very nice to show you because it's very easy to do it and fun to see it. This is what every every man who is working on a place like this has to know how to. And we are going to cut this rope. And now we're going to put it together again. But we have to. Uh, sometimes the rope has to go through a very narrow eye, and then it must not be thick. Have to be prepared, so we do it in a special way, which is a small handful. Weave it back together. Yeah. I don't know what you call it in America. We call this a splicer. A splice. Oh, a splice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same, yeah. Thing. Same thing. Same thing. Wow! Look how fast he does that. Well, I've done this before. <laughs> uh, a little bit. Yes. yes. It reminds me. We can do this in, in uh, two or three ways or something. Wow. But this is uh, special because oh, the God. rope is, has to be as, as similar as it was before. This is not in the tourist books. So no. You see oh, people no. working. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of the gal that was sitting next to me for a while today, Judy, uh, um, before we moved. I, on the airplane, she fiddled with her hair the whole time we were there. She she had really long hair, and she was braiding it and then unbraiding it and braiding it and unbraiding it. Okay. In the beginning, yes, but I have to have to go to school to learn this, uh -huh. to learn to, to uh, have a license to, to to make fishing nets, but. Uh, I went to school for three years, but yes, but uh, when I finished the school, I didn't know anything. And when you started to work, then you started to learn. Yeah. But you have to go to to uh, have the license to to allow to, to have run a company for making fishing nets. Yes, with my brother. And uh, well, we started a long time ago. So you can maybe hold this. So it's almost like a new one. Wow. So it's, uh, then we put some grease on it, maybe if it's very, very narrow.
Okay, we're here today. We're going to talk a little bit about a couple of the basic kinds of cast nets. And there are two basic cast nets. They function the same way, but there's some minor differences in the way they're constructed. This is a small bait net, but it's also a long braille net, which means it has long braille lines that are connected to the rope, go throughout, down through a bell, all the way down, and are connected then to the lead line, which is at the bottom. If you look under here, you can perhaps see these long braille lines. They're a heavier monofilament line. And the idea with this kind of net is that when you throw the net around the fish, over the fish, you pull the braille lines, which you pull the rope, which pulls the braille lines, and that encircles the fish and tightens the net up at the bottom. And the fish end up in the back of the net. The other basic type of net, cast net, is a short braille net. Now some people call these a Spanish net or a chunk net. So there's multiple terms depending on where you are. This net ha does not have any long braille lines. As you can see at the top, the, the rope is actually tied to the top of the net material. And the only braille lines that exist are down here and connect the side of the net to the lead line. These black lines are actually very small braille lines. And this net is generally used for wading because it allows you to, it, it catches the fish in this bag and you can pull this net up above the water line, reach inside the net, and actually remove the fish while you're wading, which is almost impossible with a long braille net. 